Plus, we'll put you in contact. That's right. Meanwhile, we need to tell you about what happened yesterday in Denver, Dave's hometown. That's where um, Occupy Denver protesters decided to crash a conservative conference. Freedom Works was getting together their conference. Yeah. Uh, our, some of our Fox News contributors were there. And so the Occupy Denver folks wanted to come in and disrupt it. And it ended up just being this crazy shouting, chanting match that really sort of spun out of control. That's Fox News contributor Stephen Crowder there, who gets shoved at one point. He's in the middle of it talking on his iPhone, I guess recording some of that. And then uh, shoving back and forth, of course, at that conference there. And these are, this is not the only area where this has happened, of course, right now in Portland right now. I mean, there's, uh, there's been deaths associated with some of the Occupy movements and uh, some violence, of course, and uh, some violence in, in Oakland as a result there. Yeah, and Occupy Portland. Oakland had a man killed uh, yeah. this week just on the fringe of it after a fight there. And there, are, there was arrest there in Denver. A man was pushing a cop. So, look, we are... Peer I, I think we're getting to a point where they're going to have to say, have we accomplished anything? What, again, what are our goals? Where do we go from here? You heard the president, you heard Pelosi, Biden speak out in favor of this movement, but you haven't heard a whole lot of that that's because we haven't seen anything That's a great point. There are no leaders, and this is some of the criticism. I think David Brooks in the New York Times was talking about this. There's no leadership right now in the Occupy movement where they have a sort of set of goals that they are defined, that they can, that, that's sort of coming from the top down. There's a lot of different grievances, of course. Yeah. There's a lot of different concerns that they have, but there's no sort of leadership at the top sort of marshalling the forces and such to have an effective lobby. But, you know, I did, I did recently read one of their sort of mission statements that they put out, and what they say in it is that they don't want to be defined by these incidents. They don't want to be defined narrowly by their tactics. They want to be defined by their message and the movement, and that makes perfect sense. The message of the 99 people, we are the 99 percent, meaning, has resonated, but it's these things that crop up that, of course, undermine all of that message. So I think that they're struggling internally with, you know, how to, how to move forward and what to do now. And they do have some leaders. The Occupy Denver uh, group elected a three-year-old border collie, Shelby, as their leader. I'm not making that up. They did that. Smart move. Right, that was in that. That's was according to the Denver Post. In the Denver Post, right. That, you can't make that stuff up.